Islam. Oh, ang ganda dito, masa. Ah. Good morning, good morning. Kami ay papasok sa Lehe Museum. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Lehi Museum. The Lehi Museum, also known as Beit Yeh, is placed in the house where the Lehi commander, Avraham Stern Yeh, was shot dead. The museum has two floors and each has its own story. In addition, the offices of the Lehi organization are located on the ground floor, where they are working to preserve and perpetuate the legacy of Lehi. The museum is located in Tel Aviv. The museum opened in 1985 and is operated by the Museum Department of the Ministry of Defense. Visit the museum is a journey to the period before the creation of Israel. It allows authentic observation to the period when Zionist settlement struggled for its survival while learning the history of Zionist settlement through visions and audiovisual represent. Hmm. Yung mga pistol, oh. Philip Chamot, Shlish Invitation. Nineteen nineteen thirty four. Nineteen twenty seven. Nineteen twenty seven. Mga pictures to check the dito ng history. Dito yung mga old. Like na old. Ayan. Ayan yung bahay. Ito. Ah, ito siya noon. Hmm. Ganda. <laughs> 1941. Mga old, old Hanok. Kaya mga old Naka-preserve talaga yung mga kahit ng mga kapiranggot na notes, mga letters, naka, naka ano talaga, naka... Hmm. Burma Road. Yan. On November 6, 1944, Lehi proved to the world that its campaign was not directed solely against the British mandate over Palestine but against the British Empire and its representatives. Eliyahu Hakim and Eliyahu Betzuri sent on their mission to Cairo assassinated Lord Moyne, the British Minister of State in the Middle East, following careful planning and observation. The two waited in ambush in the yard of the minister's home at 4 Sharia Gabalia Street in the exclusive residential district of Zamalek. Hakim approached the car, opened the door and shot three times at Lord Moyne. The driver, who leaped to his superior's aid, was shot by Bet Dash Zuri. An Egyptian policeman who happened by gave chase on a motorcycle after the two who were retreating on bicycles and fired at him. The two did not shoot at the policeman, but rather shot at the tires. Bet Zuri was hit in the chest and fell. His comrade came to his aid and thus were the two apprehended. The two Eliyahu were sentenced to die on January 18. 1945 and executed on the gallows in Cairo on March He operation in Jerusalem. Banda dito. Lehi Organizational Structure Charts. Lehi 
mga lumang ano mga lumang typewriter <laughs> yung mga typewriter na mga nang sinaw no? buti na preserve nila ito mga ganitong gamit The woman's prison in Bethlehem. Magawa siya ng mga ano. Mm. Mga pistol rifle. After Abraham Yestern murder, attempts were made to strike at the heads of the police force and the CID detectives. A handful of Lehi members who eluded capture rallied around Yehoshua. Cohen and Zuri Prunin who found refuge and concealment in the citrus groves of the Sharon and the South. In the summer of 1942, Yitzhak Shamir escaped from the Mezra detention camp. Together with Nathan Yellen Moore and Israel Shabe, he established the Lehi Command Center, which from Amon dot led and directed the fighting underground victory. The information efforts were initiated to explain Lehi course of action. Newspapers were published as well as flyers and wall posters. Radio broadcasts were made and military operation were resumed. Thank you so much for watching and listening to historical story about Lehi Museum. Yung bitay, ayan bitay. Galos from British regime in Eret Israel. Yung bitay. The arm and weapon of the war of liberation came from the several sources.